Welcome to 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. If you've been with us before, you know that we are taking a journey into the heart of Jesus. We are looking at the words that Jesus spoke on the cross before he died. And today we come to saying number four. Now, because there are seven, number four is the middle of the words spoken by Jesus on the cross. But it is the most dramatic, the most mysterious, the one that ought to attract our attention, the one that we ought to meditate upon often. I almost get chills thinking about what Jesus said when he was there on the cross, when he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Now, by way of introduction, I have to make a couple of comments. First of all, let's remember that we should not see God as angry. He is angry over sin, but we should not think of God being the reluctant, angry deity and the Son being the loving, sacrificial lamb. No, actually, redemption was a part of the Trinity. They were united in redeeming, and that's why the Bible says that God so loved the world. The Father also loved, even though his justice needed to be satisfied. And then something else that's a little bit more theologically technical. Let's remember that there was no break in the Trinity. It's not as if their essence was somehow torn apart with this saying. There was a break in fellowship, I believe, but there was not a break in essence. So with that, let's contemplate the words that Jesus said there on the cross. First of all, the wonder of the darkness. Darkness came upon the earth at 12 noon. Now it says 6 o'clock because in those days that's the way time was kept. From 6 in the morning it began. So there's darkness at noon. Why the darkness? Well, darkness in the Bible is associated with judgment. And what we find is that during this time when Jesus was taking our sin upon him, this was a special moment. No human eyes can even gain any access as to what happened, and we can only speculate. But if you can think of the torment of Jesus bearing our sin... Was it not Isaac Watts that wrote, Well, might the sun in darkness hide and shut its glories in when Christ the great Redeemer died for man, the creature's sin? Oh, those three hours of darkness. So that's one of the wonders that we are introduced to. The other is the wonder of the question itself. Why hast thou forsaken me. My God, my God. You should know that this is the only time in the New Testament when Jesus referred to God as God. Every other time, he said, Father. And I can hardly wait to anticipate when we get to the end of the seven sayings, we'll notice that in the last one, Jesus says, Father, into thy hands. I commit my spirit. The fellowship with the Father was back. But let's think of the wonder of the question. Why have you forsaken me? Well, the reason that he was forsaken is that he is the greatest sinner that ever walked this planet. There was no sin in Christ. He was sinless, but sin was laid upon him. He became legally guilty of the worst possible sins you could imagine. And so, in the midst of this, bearing the eternity of hell in three hours, what must that have been like? We can only speculate and we can think about it. It's so important, my friend, for us to realize that Jesus Christ suffered not just as man, though that was terrible, crucifixion was terrible, but he also suffered as the God-man. If the God-man did not suffer, like Luther said, if only a man suffered, we are not redeemed. 
But it's the God-man who suffered. And Jesus bore our suffering of an eternal hell in those three hours. I also want to point out that this was not a cry, however, of distrust. It was a cry of distress. Notice this. He said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? God was still his God, but fellowship was broken. The human mind cannot grasp all that was meant and all that happened, except let us remember it was God doing that for us, that he might be just justifying the ungodly. What a Savior we have. Now, this saying from the cross is so important that we're going to pick it up again next time. Share with your friends, encourage them to follow, and together let us continue to look at these wonderful sayings from the cross of Jesus Christ. And even today, spend time, just go with God. Thanks for joining us for 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Moody Church Media exists to bring glory to God through the transformation of lives, and we believe this can happen through solid biblical teaching. Access our resources at moodymedia.org or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash moodychurchmedia. Join us next Monday as we continue to explore the deep truths of the Bible and the Christian faith together.